Now we're going to take a look at what it takes to create a new site definition. The first step, we're going to go up to the site under the file menu. We're going to choose new sites. I'm going to create a site name. This can be anything I want. I'm going to choose a local root folder. The local root folder is where you're going to be storing your files. So I can go to My Documents, choose My Websites folder. I always create a Websites folder. This is going to have in it subfolders. Each folder underneath my subfolder is going to store an individual website. Notice that when I'm inside of a folder, I have an option to select. That is going to make this path here, My Documents, Website, My Demo Site. This is where all my files can be stored for my website. I have a default images folder. I could create a folder underneath here called images. Notice I'm already underneath my demo site. I'm going to open up images and choose select. If I have an address, I can put it in, for example, www.example.com or anything else. The case sensitive links is used if I want to check to see the difference between uppercase and lowercase. If I'm on a Windows server, I'll uncheck it. If I'm on a Unix-based server, such as Linux or BSD or Macintosh, I will check this option. The cache, usually you want to have enabled. This will allow you to perform some changes much faster inside a Dreamer, such as when you change a file name. It'll go through and update the links much faster for you. This is the local info and all the information is stored for your local machine. On remote info, I can choose different ways to upload my information to a server, such as I can choose FTP. If I choose FTP, I have to have a host name. I have to have a host directory where I'll be storing it. And I'll also have to have a login and password. This information will be provided by your hosting provider. I can also choose to put files across a local network. So if I have files on a web server that might be on my local network I can access. These are the two main categories that you will use in setting up a site. The only other category that most people will use is a testing server. By using a testing server that allows me to hit the F12 key and I'll upload the file to my testing server so I can see how long it takes and what it looks like when it comes off a web server. This is most beneficial if we're using things such as PHP. If we're using straight HTML, we can just test locally on our local machine and not have to worry about that information. That is the basics of how you would set up a site using Dreamweaver CS4.